Very good morning. I am Shilpa. Welcome you all to the NCERT live phone in program. And our today's topic of discussion is alternative path for initial teacher preparation. And to discuss further, we have Dr. Vijayan in the studio, designated as an assistant professor at Department of Teacher Education in NCERT. Thank you, Professor Vijayan, okay. for joining us today. So, let us proceed to understand about this interesting topic of initial teacher preparation. As Professor Vijayan, our topic of discussion is alternative path for initial teacher preparation. So, what does it initial teacher preparation means and what all it includes? If you could just briefly let us know. Okay. Yeah. As we, as we know that the system of teacher education in India, you, you can say that it is the largest system in different ways. First, in terms of the stakeholders involved in the process of preparing teacher. The second, in terms of the number of teachers we need to prepare. Now, how we can prepare a teacher? That is very important. Uh, as we know, the provision teaching is considered as a very important one since we are building our future generation. Right. In that concept, what more required while preparing a teacher? Therefore, uh, there should be a strong and sh competent teacher, though that teacher can prepare the future generation. In that sense, when we talk about the initial teacher preparation, we need to have a st strong input in the teacher in terms of the contents, in terms of the pedagogy, in terms of the skill in terms of the attitude. Therefore, when we talk about the initial teacher preparation, this should focus on preparing a candidate who wants to become a teacher in those areas. In that way, the strongness in the content area in which subject he or she teaches, how he or she deliver the content to the students, that means it is pedagogy and what type of skills the teacher acquire for imparting the content and integrating pedagogy while discussing or giving, helping the students to learn that particular concept and the attitude, the particular attitude the teacher shows towards the fruition. These are very important. These are the important factors that contribute a very effective teacher. In that way, initial teacher preparation uh, focuses on all these aspects, how we can build a teacher. Okay. So, Professor Vijayan, can you like explain about the different system available for initial teacher preparation? Yeah. As I mentioned earlier, the system of education, in fact, uh, the entire education system in India is a huge one, the largest one in the world. Since uh, when it comes to the teacher education, you can see that uh, we have more than 19,000 accredited teacher education system in our country. Mm -hmm. And of course, there are a lot of other institutions working for preparing teachers in other areas. And second thing, every year we need lakhs of teachers. And uh, you, you might have seen the reports given by our uh, national body, National Council of Teacher Education in that area, the demand and supply documents. And in some of the states in India, high demands for teachers. teachers. At the same time, in some states, high, the more number of teachers are available, but they do not have any opportunity to work in the system. And this contrasting experience is there in India. In that way, and we have different types of uh, different models of teacher preparation in India. Okay. And as I mentioned, uh, India is a huge country having different experiences, different models of teacher preparations. And it happens because we need more and more number of teachers in the field. And uh, generally, uh, if we compare with other countries, the number of teacher preparation programs is uh, more in India due to the varieties of uh, 
teachers required for different levels of education. And for example, uh, our education system is 10 plus 2 plus 3. And in under the 10 school education system, again we have elementary education system, it cater the needs for class 1 to class 8. We have the secondary that cater the needs for class 9 and 10. We have the sec senior secondary class 11 and 12. And again, uh, now in, in we, we our country is focusing more on pre-primary education as well. We require teachers for teaching for pre-primary students also. Therefore, in that way, we have different system of teacher preparation programs starting from pre-primary till senior secondary. In, therefore, uh, if we talk uh, about the different programs that offer teacher education, we need to go through one by one. Okay. So, let us understand the teacher program, teacher yeah. initial programs. Yeah, let me uh, start with uh, one important aspect of teacher preparations. Generally, in India, uh, in other countries as well, teacher preparation programs uh, is based on two models. Okay. There are two models of teacher preparation program. One model is known as uh, concurrent model. Okay. Concurrent model in the sense that, as I mentioned earlier, when if you want to prepare a teacher, the teacher should have a strong knowledge base, strong skill base in different aspects starting from the contents, then the pedagogy, mm -hmm. then the skill. These are the three important aspects. In that way, when we talk about the content and pedagogy, content means it is specifically it is subject oriented. For example, the con content in mathematics or content in science or content in language. And when we talk about the pedagogy, pedagogy is nothing but the science of teaching, the art of teaching, how the particular contents a teacher can uh, interact with the students in an effective way so that students can learn in, in a better way. And how the teacher can help the students to construct the knowledge area in that particular content. And that helping procedure, the facilitation uh, involves the pedagogy. Okay. In that way, the models of teacher preparations involves two aspects. One is concurrent in the sense that this both content aspects as well as the pedagogical aspects will go hand in hand the same process and these teacher preparation programs will concentrate on both content as well as pedagogy, how this content can be integrated with pedagogy in the teacher preparation program. We have a uh, history of a programs for NCART, National Council of Education Research and Training. In 1963, in our RI, Regional Institute of Education, we started a program uh, known as Integrated Teacher Preparation Program, BA, BEd and BSc BEd. And these are examples of some concurrent programs. And at the same time, there is another model. That model is known as consecutive model. Consecutive in the sense that first, uh, the candidates who are coming for this teacher education program need to complete a course in the content, maybe a graduation or maybe a post graduation. For example, a person completed BA uh, in history or B.Sc. in Mathematics or B.Sc. in Science can come to the teacher education course after completion of the course undergraduate or postgraduate in that subject. Then in the second part, the professional preparation, the pedagogical preparation program, uh, the concentration will be giving more thrust on how this content he learned earlier can be incorporated in teaching. Okay. The pedagogical aspect will be given more thrust and that will be in an indip uh, independent way in this uh, consecutive program. For example, uh, our uh, very familiar program, Beard, Bachelor of Education is an example of such program, consecutive. Since uh, uh, the basic qualification for enter the Beard course is after completion of a graduation, maybe BA or BSc. And here, the concentration in beard will be more on education topics as well as the pedagogy course. Right. And these are the two models. 
Now, let me uh, go through different programs in different levels. As I mentioned, we have a system of school education starting from pre-primary till senior, senior secondary. secondary. And if we go through those different levels, and we can start with the, I think, pre-primary levels. And uh, we have a system of teacher preparation pre-primary level, which is not at all uniform across the stage. We have different uh, programs for pre-primary teacher preparation. This is an unfortunate thing uh, in the teacher preparation in India. Since uh, more than 50 years, this area has been considered as a neglected one. Now we are seeing its importance. Pre-primary education uh, it is very, very crucial for the future education of a uh, child. In that way, uh, if we neglect the teacher preparation for pre-primary, uh, whatever we can expect from the child later on will be, uh, uh, will be in a uh, very difficult stage. In that way, we need to give more focus on pre-primary teacher preparation. At the status right now, as I mentioned, we have a, a different system of teacher preparation program for pre-primary. Uh, there are uh, some private runners, they are offering pre-primary teacher training. There are public system which are uh, offering teacher uh, preparation for pre-primary level. For example, you might have heard about some of the course run by some uh, NGOs or some private organization like nursery teacher training. There are uh, nursery teacher training, there are uh, ECCE teacher training, uh, there are uh, Anganwadi teacher training. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, our Ministry of uh, Social Welfare having a system of Anganwadis in uh, all over the India. And they are also giving some type of uh, programs, orientation. It, it, it is not like a certificate course. They are giving orientation for the Anganwadi teachers. And at the same time, private agencies are giving uh, different courses. As I mentioned, it, there is no uniformity in teacher preparation in this level. Uniformity is lagging in different areas, starting with the nomenclature. We have different names for that particular course. We have nursery teacher training, we have pre-primary teacher training, we have uh, ECC early childhood care and education teacher training. Like that, uh, we have different nomenclature for that particular course. Second one, it is uh, not uniform in terms of the duration of the course. And some uh, private agencies are offering course for uh, three months certificate six month certificates, one month, one year certificates and some courses are of two year duration. In that way, it is not uniform in forms of the duration. As Professor Virginia just said, there is no uh, uniformity in yeah. pre-primary level for the teacher preparation. So, why is it so? And yeah. uh, what more could be done to make it uniform? Yeah, it is very important since uh, now some uh, Systematic procedures, some systematic changes have been happened uh, because of the involvement of NCT in the picture. As you know, National Council of Teacher, teacher education, education is the statutory and regulatory body of teacher education in India. They, as per their NCT 2005 for, for 2014 regulation, uh, they initiated a program, Diploma in Pre-Primary uh, pre Education, DPSC. And this course is of two year duration, having all the aspects of, all the uh, fundamental requirement that a teacher education course required, having uh, course structure, syllabus, uh, as practice teaching as an important component of that course, it is entirely uh, in a systematic way they developed. The question now is, uh, most of our institutions, teacher uh, preparation institutions are not coming forward to offer this course, still right. uh, there is no system. The basic reason for that is, uh, our teacher recruitment policy for pre-primary, that is the basic issue. Since it is not an approved system in most of the states, uh, it is not an approved in the state education role also, 
uh, anybody those who wants to run a pre primary classes they can start since it is not a mandatory to go get the admission in class 1 in that way some of the private stakeholders are coming and running these courses and that they does not require any qualifi qualified teachers, teachers in that way. If a person completed three year, three months uh, certificate course from any, any private agencies, they will be recruited as a teacher in that. Therefore, there is no systemic uh, changes in recruiting the teachers, the placing the teachers in pre-primary system. That is the one important reason still we do not have uniformity in the Pre -primary pre -primary limited. The second one is the salary. Mm -hmm. As you know, uh, in the government system, from secondary uh, prim uh, primary onwards, we have a very clear cut and systematic teacher recruitment rules and salary structure. But unfortunately, in pre primary, there is no such system. And these are the two basic reasons. Uh, for no, lack no, no. of uniformity in pre-primary teacher preparation. That, of course, when seeing the importance of pre-primary teachers and their uh, involvement for preparing the t students for, it is actually we in a pre-primary does not mean that we are teaching the students in subject, different subjects, but it is a preparatory piece and the students will get an idea or they will have a positive attitude when they are going to the class 1. That is a, it, it is nothing but a preparatory program. Therefore, it involves more than uh, behavioral modification and it, it involves how the teacher can help the students to cope up with the uh, importance of class 1, going to the class 1, how they can learn. Those things are important rather than teaching them the subject specific ideas. Therefore, in that way the importance of pre-primary teachers uh, we cannot neglect. We need to give importance to the teacher preparation also. We need to have a clear cut system for teacher recruitment. We should have a clear cut system for salary pattern and all. Then only uh, more institution will come forward and offer these type of courses. So, Professor Vijayan, are there any uh, programs available for a person? Uh, so that the person can initiate into teaching? Yeah, there are lot of programs as such. That is what uh, I started with the pre-primary teacher preparation. When you move towards, then it will come primary as well as uh, or upper primary that together we will call as elementary teacher preparation. And in elementary teacher preparation as such, now we have a very important course uh, known as DLED, Diploma in Elementary Education. Th that is the one important course of work in all over India for preparing a teacher for elementary, elementary level. And this course, uh, the basic eligibility qualification for getting admission in this course is senior secondary. The person who completed their senior secondary with 50 percentage of marks can get admitted in this course. And it, it is offered in almost all uh, district institute of education and training in our more than 600 diets are available in our country and most of these diets are offering this uh, initial teacher preparation course and which focuses on preparing teachers for elementary education, elementary level. And another course, uh, it is offered by Delhi University. You, uh, it, it is a very important course for preparing elementary teachers. It is known as BLED, okay. uh, Bachelor of Elementary, elementary. Education. The basic qualification is senior secondary, but after the completion of the course, the candidate will get a bachelor degree in education. Okay. And uh, here, this course is of four year duration, and in the entire years, they are getting. Uh, basic content knowledge course in su core subject areas, for example, in core mathematics, core science, core language, etc. And it is integrated with the pedagogy of teaching. And one, one important issues uh, the students are facing after completion of BLD is 
देयर मोबिलिटी वर्टिकल मोबिलिटी देयर लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए कैंडिडेट कम्पलीटिंग बी एल एड इफ दे वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर ए फर्स्ट ग्रेजुएशन इन साइंस इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट नाउ यूनिवर्सिटीज आर नॉट गिविंग परमिशन टू दो कैंडिडेट गो फॉर देयर फर्स्ट ग्रेजुएशन एक्सेप्ट मास्टर इन एजुकेशन दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट इश्यू बट द सपोज अ कैंडिडेट इज मोर फोकसिंग ऑन टू बिकम ए टीचर देर इज नो डाउट दैट बी एल एड कोर्स इज अ वेरी वंडरफुल कोर्स दैट विल हेल्प ए कैंडिडेट टू बिकम एन एफेक्टिव टीचर but it is only up to the elementary level there is uh, no mobility vertically that is important issue this is, these are two important uh, avenue if a candidate want to become an elementary teacher dlr and bl and uh, as i mentioned earlier in some part of india uh, there are lot of untrained teachers since a uh, Uh, since demand and supply is mismatching in some of the states for ex- especially from northeastern states and uh, some of the states like bihar and all uh, they recruited more number of teachers they are not qualified any professional degree and uh, uh, once this right to education act 2009 implemented they face lot of issues since it is mandatory to uh, complete a uh, professional degree course right. to become a teacher. teacher in that way ncte uh, in collaboration with igno and uh, national institute of open schooling nios they started a uh, uh, distance mode course dl distance mode especially for those teachers who they are working in the school they are not professionally trained and that also now it is uh, running uh, in different institutions uh, it, it is uh, by nios it is by uh, igno and etc they are running those courses only for those teachers it is not for general candidates these are the three important courses now for dlh okay so uh, professor vijayan as we are discussing about teacher education so yeah. if we know about know about some pst programs pst uh, e programs pst programs uh, and some of the programs i mentioned these are all pst okay. uh, in pre primary i mentioned some of the programs uh, uh, elementary i mentioned dl ed bl ed and all those things and now we, if we move to the next level it is secondary secondary level we we have uh, uh, different courses uh, as i mentioned earlier in under the concurrent and uh, model as well as consecutive model I, i mentioned about two courses one is uh, integrated bsc bed ba bed course and another is bed course and these are some of the courses now we are running under uh, pste for preparing teacher for secondary level and as i mentioned the difference bed is a stand alone course it is not an integrated course it is a course of teacher preparation where which a candidate can can come and join after completing their graduation or a post graduation and there the concentration is completely on the pedagogy of a particular subject and integrating that pedagogy in teaching and the development of the uh, required competency to become a teacher whereas in bsc ed and ba b ed these are the integrated courses as i mentioned it is the example of a, a concurrent pre service teacher education programs where which uh, subject knowledge as well as the pedagogical knowledge go hand in hand it is a uh, four year integrated program and in it is the uh, value of that particular course is from the first year onwards uh, up to last year the fourth year the student teacher will get an ample opportunity to uh, interact with the school system and in bet the issue is that they are getting a limited scope for interacting with the school system as you know it is a professional course more focus should be how the candidate is interacting with the school interacting with the students interacting with the communities involved in the classroom and the uh, institution as a whole but if, if you have a four year system and every year if you are getting a chance to interact automatically the 
attitude does not change also you can see through that since every year you are having uh, better involvement in the system and at the same time you are going into the deep of the content knowledge and those contents are simultaneously uh, integrating with the pedagogical and this is the benefit of an integrated course and uh, in some of the countries uh, the most developed countries in terms of education uh, they are offering integrated courses rather than this type of standalone courses its value is that if you want to prepare a better teacher effective teacher those who are interested in can start from the initial years of their career and simultaneously every year they can get lot of uh, input from experienced uh, teacher educators experienced teachers from uh, schools experienced uh, academicians from other sides so that they can become a very good effective teacher at the end that is the benefit of an integrated course and uh, now a days uh, 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 last year i think uh, our honorable minister of hrd uh, declared that our uh, country is going to witness a system of integrated teacher preparation from 2019 20 onwards in their india they are planning to start integrated teacher education programs uh, uh, it, uh, earlier it was an innovative program uh, uh, started in our regional institute of education and 2014 onwards uh, it has been considered as a general course now uh, nct is giving more importance to that course rather than this uh, stand alone bed course Uh, these are some of the pre-service teacher education programs at different levels. Okay. The one thing lacking is the prepare, preparing teachers for senior secondary. We, as such, we don't have any courses only for preparing teachers for senior secondary. Uh, now the system is those who completed B.Ed or B.Sc. B.Ed or B.A. B.Ed with post graduation can become a uh, teacher for senior secondary. That is the system right now. So, Professor Vijayan, as we have just talked about the teacher education, uh, so concerning we just talked about the core subjects. Yeah. We have several other additional subjects which are equally important for us, like music, art, yeah, drama. Yeah, so, how can we produce such teachers? Yeah, this is very important uh, uh, right now in our system. Since uh, we are also moving, our country is moving uh, for inclusion, and our classrooms are now in an inclusive settings. Uh, more number of students in that way are coming to our classroom how we can help those students uh, in an equitable way that is very important and our teachers need to be prepared for that uh, to tackle the inclusive classroom especially we have uh, some of the teacher preparation in those areas for example uh, rehabilitation council of india they are offering uh, teacher preparation for special education right. they have a course known as bed special education they have a course known as dled special education uh, that is for special education and another course uh, you know uh, the health is very important and without having a sound health we cannot expect a sound mind that right. is very important for so preparing. today uh, we have gained a lot of information in uh, how we can prepare a teacher for physical education is, is very crucial and we have some of the course like cp ed that is a certificate course in education physical education we have bp ed uh, this type of course also it, it, these courses are approved by nct and these courses they are preparing teachers for physical education as well and there are of course there are courses for uh, art education music Uh, finals and all those things and but still we need more and more uh, systematic procedure for preparing these teachers and that is what is lacking i think nct is working for that uh, in the future we can expect a systematic procedure for teacher preparation and we can expect quality teachers also 
So today we have got in-depth information about pre-service teacher education and the topics related to it. Thank you Dr. Vijayan for sharing such useful information for us. If you have any query or the question if you may want to ask then you can dial into our toll free number or can drop an email to us. Till then take care and keep watching Kishore Manch.